Welcome to my channel. Hey everybody, it's Paul from MGS Kids. Today we are going to have an animal spelling bee. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you can play along with us. It's going to be fantastic. First up, we have a dog. What does a dog say? Ruff, ruff. Does it say bark? Oh, sometimes it also says bow wow or woof. That's right. What letter does dog begin with? Does it begin with a D? Oh, I think it does. What's the next letter? Do you know? Oh, I think it's an O. Uh, there's only one more letter in dog. Do you know what that is? Is it a G? That's right. Dog. D-O-G. Another way you could say dog is you could say doggy. D-O-G-G. -G, and then the last letter would be Y. Doggy. D-O-G-G-Y. Doggy. I like doggies. They're fun. All right, let's get rid of those. What animal should we do next? How about a bear? Oh, we like bears. They're nice. They live in the forest. They like honey. You wouldn't want to pet one, but you could cuddle with a teddy bear. What does a bear say? Oh, That's right. When you hear a bear say that, what he's saying is, I want some honey. All right, let's spell bear. Does bear begin with a B? It does, doesn't it? I like bears. Let's see, what's the next letter? Do you know? Could the next letter in bear be an E? Oh, I think it could. There we go, there's a B. What's the next letter? I'll give you a hint. It's the first letter in the alphabet. So let's sing it. A, B, C, it's an A. There we go. That's the next letter in bear. There's only one more letter left. What letter is that? I know. It's an R. B E A R. Good job. All right, let's go to the next animal. Okay, so the next animal in our spelling bee for animals is going to be a bunny. What does a bunny say? That's right. They say hop, hop, hop. And when they're chewing on a carrot, they sound a little bit like this. That's right. How do we spell bunny? How about with a B? B, what comes next? B, U. What do you think comes after the U? How about, let's do two, because they're the same letter. B, U, N, N, Y. That's what ends out bunny. Let's put the Y in there so we can finish it out. There we go. Bunny. B-U-N-N-Y. And what does a bunny say again? Hop, hop, hop. That's right. Let's go on to our next animal. Which one should we do next? How about we look at and see how to spell a cat? Do you have a cat at home? Oh, you do. But do you know what a cat says? Meow. Oh, that's right. They say meow. Very good. All right, so how do we spell cat? Should it start with the letter C? Oh, I think we should. Let's start with the letter C. It's only three letters in the word cat. What comes next? How about the letter A? There's only one more letter in cat. Cat. Oh, that's got that T sound at the end, so that must mean that the last letter is a T. C-A-T. Cat. Very good. All right, let's move on to our next animal. Let's see what we got next. Our next animal is a fun one. He is a frog. What does a frog say? Rabbit, rabbit. That's right, they say rabbit, rabbit. Very good. Now, I like frogs because they hop, 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 but how do you spell frog? What's the first letter in Frog. Is it an F? Oh, that's right. It's an F. Fr oh, we got that R sound in there, so that must mean the next letter is an R. Frog. Oh, what makes an O oh sound? Do you think it might be an O? I think it might be. Then we got frog. It's got that G sound. That can only be 
a G. Frog. F R O G. Frog. All right, what animal should be next? Which one do you think should be next? Should we have maybe a monkey? Do you like monkeys? Oh, let's think. What sound does a monkey make? Wow, I couldn't make that sound any better myself. That's right, they make that sound. But what does a monkey, what does their name begin with? M, M, monkey begins with an M. The letter M is the first letter in the word monkey. And then next we have an O, monkey. Almost sounds like it could be a U, but it's an O. What comes next? Oh, I think maybe that N sound is an N. M-O-N, and then what comes next? Mon is kind of the first part, and then key comes after that, monkey. So let's see, could it be a K? That's right, it's a K. What comes after that? Oh, I think we might need the E to go next. But still something seems like it's missing. There should be one more letter. What could it be? I think it's the letter Y. Monkey. M-O-N-K-E-Y. Monkey. <laughs> what animal should we spell next? How about a sheep? Do you like sheep? Oh, they help give us wool, which sometimes makes clothing and keeps us warm in the winter. But what sound does a sheep make? Uh, That's right. They make that sound. That's a fun sound. But how do you spell sheep? What's the first letter in sheep? Is it an S? Is that the first letter? Oh, I think it is. Sh oh, I bet the next letter is an H. Sheep. Oh, I think we got two letters that are the same that come next. We've got an E and then another E, but there's still one letter missing. Do you know what it is? I think it's a P, sheep, S-H-E-E-P, sheep. Bah. All right, the next animal that we're gonna spell is an animal that often lives on a farm. It's a pig. Do you know what a pig says? That's right, they say oink, don't they? Let's spell pig. P. What letter do you think comes next? Is it an I? Oh, I think it is. And then there's a G. Pig. P I G. Pig. The next animal we're going to spell is a kind of bird, but it usually comes out at night. What do you think it is? Is it an owl? Oh, it is an owl. What does an owl say? Oh. That's right, they say whoo, whoo. So how do you spell owl? What's the first letter? It's an O. And then the next one is a little strange, but the next letter in the word owl is actually a W. Owl. And then there's only one letter left. It is an L. Owl. O-W-L. Owl. That's how you spell it. Woo! Woo! So what animal are we going to spell next? The next one is one that you maybe saw in a zoo or on TV. There's even a movie about an elephant. Oh wait, I said what it is. It's an elephant. They're really big, aren't they? And they have long trunks and big ears. They're just big. And they have a kind of long name to go with how big they are. But first, what does an elephant say? Bah. That's right, they sure do. All right, so let's find out how to spell elephant. It begins with that kind of uh sound, which can sometimes mean it's an E for elephant. Up next comes the letter L. See, it even sounds like an L. L, L, -E. So that means there's another E. And then this next one is kind of tricky. The next letter is the letter P. But you're thinking a P doesn't make an F sound, elephant, right? But it does when you put an H after it. What comes next? It's an A. 
then an N, and then the last letter of elephant is the letter T. Elephant. It's a big guy with a big name. Up next, we're going to spell giraffe. Have you ever seen a giraffe before? They're that animal with a really, really long neck. What sound does a giraffe make? Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't really know what sound a giraffe makes either. <laughs> but that's okay. I can tell you how to spell it. It begins with the letter G. Up next, the next letter is an I. There we go. What do you think comes after the I? Well, if you thought it was an R, you'd be right. And then up next is the first letter of the alphabet, the letter A. Then there's two of the next letter. Do you know what that is? It gives that F sound. It's an F. There's two Fs. And then the last letter and the word giraffe is an E. Giraffe. And since we don't know what sound it makes, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, the next animal we're going to talk about is very special. You might have even heard him referred to as a king. He is the king of the jungle. It's a lion. Oh, lions are cool. What sound does a lion make? <coughs> That's right, they go roar. They're kind of scary sometimes, but this one's cute. And we're going to spell his name. How do you spell lion? L. It begins with the letter L. Lie. What next letter could it be? I think it's the letter I. After that, we got to get the on part. Lion. Lion. That would be an O. And then it ends with kind of a N sound. Lion. So that would have to be the letter N. Lion. L. I O N. Lion. Roar. Okay, the next animal that we're going to spell, I bet you've never seen one in real life. I bet you never have. But if you have, you'll have to tell me about it because I've never seen one. But you may have seen one in a cartoon or in a movie. It's called a dragon. Oh, he's pretty cute. But dragons can usually fly. And they can breathe fire. They're not usually this cute, though. But how do you spell dragon? Even though it's not real, it does have a name and we can still spell it. Duh. Dragon. All right, let's start with the letter D. What comes next? Dr. Dragon. Maybe an R. I think that comes next. After that, dra. What's the A sound? Oh, that would be an A. Then we got the G sound, dragon. Oh, that would be a G. What comes next after that? It is the letter O. And then it ends with that N sound. There it is again. That could only be the letter N. Dragon. And of course, we can only assume because it's not a real animal, but a dragon probably has some kind of a roar, like a roar. Kind of like a lion, maybe. Well, that's it. We are so happy that you came and hung out with us. It was a lot of fun. And next time, maybe we'll spell some more animals. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can play again.